Unlockable units, new equipment, new crest items, the Vanguard's whistle. Why would I want that? Oh, maddening difficulty. Import a level. Support levels can only be imported as a batch, excluding Merc Whistle. All right, we did it. So, can I just go back to the where I was, or? This is me, right? Or, I guess I should go to personal quarters. What are these documents, first off? Tome of the Saints. Cannot be determined. However, this text will not take into account the lengthy preamble out of the way. Not St. Macula. Wait, what? His good looks. What the heck? Okay. St. Kiho had countless... I mean, he had one. All right, he had one. Very few records of the saints being married. So when we consider what we know of Saint Kehoe did marry and that his own daughter made, was made a saint as well. I think the latter theory is likely to be true. And I think that's where she was buried. Another example, though much said about him is likely fiction. Saint Luca, many of his offspring, the man loved and had great affection for his the many children he brought into the world, however, appearances can be deceiving. If we consider that he was perhaps using some simp some sort of power to change his appearance, then... Oh, we can't see it. Okay, well, I guess that was kind of interesting. Which units? Rhea? So Sothis? And Arvel? Okay, I'm guessing there's another unit we can get because it says we need to get Byleth as an ally in order to get Arvel. Equipment! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is this here? Why is this here? Foul it! Okay, yeah, we we got crest items. I don't suppose Constance is... Nope, it is not here. So Cornelia is totally in a garden. Gotcha. Um... I'll take these three. So I was told, that's what I was trying to say um, early on in the game, or halfway through the game. Somebody told me where the sword of the creator would be. Didn't expect the other stuff though. Why can we get, wait a minute. Yeah, actually that's a good point. I just took her out and I get rid. Mm, I need more points. Easily fixable. Oh wait, there's a award available. Well, how'd it go? That was Any basically nothing. Good result. Let's see some chores. Oh, sure. So let's just take it one step at a time, like always. At the very least, I'm not angry at the rest of the crew. Two. There, done. Where is that? Daggum weapon. Oh, we get that as well. Huh. Actually, what crest is... No crest? No, I know what I'm going to do. So this is... Crania's weapon, huh? I guess if I had Monica, this would be... <laughs> Accurate. 
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Mock battle. Huh. Well, the way I willed it, it doesn't look uh, too special. Well, I guess that's because it fits with my whole guard. The time is now. Why in the world? Why do we unlock Rhea after taking her out? I don't. Okay. Wait, are you the same clat? Wait. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, does this let you transform? Of course not. You're the same as Lysithia. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is where you, yeah. This is the true path to salvation. I gotta keep up with you. Uh huh. Wait a minute. Ray doesn't have any supports, right? Okay, no. Uh, that's not. Wait, that is my roster, though. Oh, it's listed under others. Okay. Yep. No sports. Um, okay. Well, then my next Training thing... Can be the difference between victory and defeat. Now this... This is something. I gave it to Happy because, uh, well, the crest. I can't, can I, you can't really, you can't really see it, but I, I'm pretty sure I can show the picture. It's got Happy and Constance's crest. So honestly, it should work, but I know they're not going to. That's pretty cool. I know, um, no actual, you should at least have a press release show up or something. But I, I know you, people aren't, they're not really expecting you to make half of your content sword leaders. I just did it because I wanted to. Um, and it was difficult. You really can't see the crest? Maybe in a different position. But man! Now this is worth playing back. Yeah. I like that. Alright, but now for the main event. My turn. About time! Let's do this! Why did it take so long to get. Why couldn't I have the sword during the game? Do I have a. Wait, yeah, hang on. I should have an ability. Actually, do they both? What's the sword come with? It just... Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't come with an ability. But ours should. My turn. 
There we go. Why can't the other sword do that? Like they're the same one. And again, I have the matching crest. But I guess it's just good enough that anybody can use it. But it has no special ability, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it does have a hidden ability. Actually, they both do. Whoa! What the heck? I've never seen that happen. All right. Power couple. Okay. Let's return to camp. Let me see what these abilities are real quick. All right. Unleash effects. Is oh, this it? I have a shield. The shield too. Huh. That makes sense. And HP, of course. When so this. What the heck? And this just causes a tactic. You should say when equipped by Happy or Constantine. That's fine. Whatever. What do I need? I'm both steel. I don't have enough. Hmm. And this. Oh. A nice ability. I wonder what that looks like, though. We got one more thing to do, especially after that note. I'll go ahead and save this on slot three. But load slot two. Sophus is a mage. And Arvel is a dark bishop. I am the beginning. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Just don't get me killed out there. They both have ghostly. Uh, voices. To war and victory. Okay. Well, this is that is this is something I never thought would happen. Sothis. And it's just a basic. Wait a minute. So Sothis was a mage. All right. Um, is there anything else? Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, just uh, all the max tier elemental magic. Got it. So I'm guessing Arbol is the same. Oh, whoa! Oh, right, I never tried a dark mage. You know, I thought Arvel's fit looked a little bit cooler than this. But I'm seeing it in, uh, in practice. Yeah, that, that's something. It begins. What's his ability do? Well, actually, for both of them. After 300 hits, creates a magical sigil imbued with an element that will attack automatically. Nullifies all attack damage for a short period of time, performing perfect guard, perfect dodge, or air recovery. In order to guard, reduces damage received from enemies by 30%. Okay. Imbue attacks with the light or dark. Okay, we can switch between. Hit by enemy attacks, inflict a small portion of damage to all surrounding foes, and or to defend, increases damage dealt to enemies by 30%. Okay. Interesting. They shall know fear. And of course, your crest act your crest should be activating all the time. What the heck? Alright, and do you have your own special? It. 
it? No transformation or anything? Well, I saw the sword, but you shouldn't even have that. All right, Arvel. Huh. A giant can't... All right. All right. Well, that at least makes more sense for you. How do they not have something more flashy for Silthus? All right, well, one more thing I want to do. Do they? All right. Have... You... Okay, well, I was about to say, if they don't have a unique line. Shoot, there's something else I gotta try. Oh, are those the sigils? Well, that was kind of cool. So they do have a unique line. Um, great, now I gotta check Rhea. So if Celtus can use a sword, can I class change? Oh, yeah, to the very basic of basics. Huh. That's... Whoa, what the... What in the huh? Oh, I, I for a second there I thought this class was raw than it should have been. Oh, but I like the sigils. That's pretty cool. All right. The time is now. I shall cut through. <laughs> I require aid. I deign to aid. You like that? All right, and now wait. Actually, what's Ray's ability? I never checked that. When the full press R Z to rain fire upon and purifying rain. Okay, I didn't see that. Let me see that real quick. All right. Uh, what was I gonna try first? I forgot. Time to learn your place. Huh. Alrighty then. And that just keeps raining down, and now. No special line. Got it. All right. I guess that's it. So last little thing. Let me just. No, Claude doesn't have anything new to say. What happens if I leave? Is there a bonus map? That's it. That we're just done then. Final thoughts. It was really, really cool to just be able to use my team. And the story didn't have to be great though. Like I said, the first half of the game was awesome. The second half, it was, it had some very good highs and some really powerful lows. But I'm thinking that's because, here's the thing. Does Edelgard's route end with her fighting the Agarthans? If that's the case, then I can see another reason on why they changed it. If Edelgard fights the Agarthans and Dimitri might fight Edelgard again, or you know, Cornelia even, maybe they thought, well no, if they both fight Agarthans, then I have absolutely no problem with, like Edelgard fights Talus uh, for final battle, Dimitri fought Cornelia for the final battle, and then Claude fought whoever was really responsible for Grave, you know, or some new guard. That, you know, I, I'd be okay with that. That'd be cool. Since we don't have a we don't have a sign on if the war even ended or not after Claude defeated Rhea, that's a very non-committal answer. I'm just saying. 
they could have done that. All right. Especially since they seem to be trying to avoid taking out units that people would actually care about. Clearly because they don't want to upset others. Or maybe they made Claude do this because the route plot of the game wouldn't work with Dimitri sane. Then... I don't know. I got, I got ideas. I mean, again, like I said, it's not that I can't buy Ray and Claude fighting, but they just... Not in this way. They gave us nothing. Not, not a single thing besides Edelgard saying we should. And then Claude's like, all right. He was really just Edelgard light in the second half. And that's what bothers me about the second half. It wasn't his decision. If I felt that it was Claude's decision. I mean, yeah, sure. You know, that's how the game was written. But it didn't feel like him in that moment. That's why I said, I I did, I actually said I wanted Claude and Edelgard to work together. Not like that. I said that I wanted Claude to, you know, consolidate power in the Alliance, but also not like he did it. Although that one's more of a interesting note, I guess. He didn't have to do it. Well, it's more the way Claude did it already sent red flags because maybe this is also a personal note i didn't want to see a king when i chose the alliance i chose it because of how fractured it was and that there were checks on claude's power i didn't want to see a king if i wanted the king i could go to dimitri i wanted to see the duke regan of the alliance this federation thing i i don't i don't like it all right because well it's now associated with the worst parts. Hedelgar and Dimitri, they were born in their power, right? They were, they were born into it. They didn't take it from anybody. It was unfortunately pressed upon them and maybe they even would have preferred not to rule. Claude's different, but the reason I'm okay with it is because of how it was set up. Him seeking more power and trying to force the entire uh, of entirety of the alliance to bend his will when Rhea wasn't what was really the problem with the alliance especially when you got people like Edmund that's the problem like I said it's like honestly speaking Claude seemed like he was the worst out of um AOR Dimitri and Claude and they're well I can't say the worst but at the very least I was finding it hard to fight or at least have my heart into a lot of the battles and like I said, I will have a whole video on how they could have done different. Many things I did not mention. And I purposely did not mention because I didn't want people to have the same arguments. But to summarize, I really did enjoy my time. I do not regret playing the game. I just really wish if they were going to do this route, they had done it better. And it, I understand now that it seems like they didn't have time to finish it. Still, I if they were going to do it this way, I kind of wish they had ended it after Claude defeated his brother. Well, no, then we wouldn't have had Happy or Constance, any of those supports. And see, that's the thing. Right when the Claude experienced that, that's when I got them. And that helped me get to that moment. If I hadn't. Well, anyways, I guess my main thing is this still isn't Claude's route. Claude's true route, I feel, should have him a much heavier emphasis on the Almirans. It should involve the Agarthans because I think Claude should Claude should be the observer watching Rhea, Eogard, and Dimitri and be able to come to a more... Well, he's the one who's striving for peace while the other areas want war. I feel like he's. it was important for Claude to have that um, for Three Houses. Final thing, if, he, if we were going to do this route, why is there a need for Claude to follow Edelgard shoes? Then you just need two houses. There's Edelgard Coalition and then Dimitri Coalition. If Claude doesn't have his own way forward, then there's no point in him having an own route. That's the main reason why I'm saying it's not his route. Which is, a, it's basically rewording what I've been saying. He's just Edelgard light, but 
maybe that'll help phrase it better. It's not his route because he wasn't following his own way. He was following a path that Edelgard had set for him. So, anyways, with that being said, by all means, let me know what you thought about the game, though I'll have a more detailed analysis of the story um, with, you know, bringing up certain moments and how I could have done things better in a later video. But for now, this has been Blade. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next playthrough.